I'm Jeff Alpin, the Big Game Hunter. I'm the head coach for Job Search, CoachingHQ.com, and NoBSCoachingAdvice.com. And welcome to Job Search Radio. I'd like to spend a little bit of time regularly with everyone talking about some element of job search because I believe job hunting doesn't have to be hard, difficult, painful, or take so long. It's just a different skill set than doing the job. You know, you have to learn how to interview, how to negotiate through your, this entire system, or I should say navigate through this entire job search system that's basically designed to squeeze you into a sausage wrap and have you fit in. So I try to take the mythology out of job hunting and make it easier for you. And today I thought I would talk with those of you who are over 60 and address some of the things that you might have to contend with if you're laid off. And I hope this never happens to, to any of you, but the reality is our economy is changing. It's always changing, but it's changing rapidly. We are going to have another layoff and you need to get a recession, I should say, and you need to be prepared in case something does happen. So rather than being foolish, better to have a plan in place. And number one is to start looking at your financials, to give yourself a cushion, because one of the things that will happen is there may be the initial panic, the initial fear that says, oh my God, how am I going to be able to afford fill in the blank? So having a plan in place for what your financials, uh, how your financials are going to be managed becomes probably the biggest starting place for many of you. It's also wise to start thinking about the option of social security as showing up. Now, you can take it at 62 and a half, but it's significantly less than at 66 and even less at 70. Not only that, if you earn money at 62 and, uh, and a half, you know, you have to pay back a certain amount of money <laughs> that you earn and thus it becomes less desirable to to get it. So start thinking in terms of how you're going to manage Social Security now when you don't need to worry about this. Some people are going to start telling you to rethink your retirement age. I don't know if we have to go quite that far. I think overall most of us are thinking about older retirement rather than younger retirement. But if you're one of the individuals who is younger in this demographic and can afford to step out, by all means, do it. Continue to do it. Also want to say is most of the advice that people at our age, and I'm going to be 67 shortly, most of the advice that we get is designed to say, expect less, lower your expectations. No. <laughs> I'm going to tell you point blank, don't lower your expectations. That's part of the, the system trying to eat you up and, and maneuver you. Why should you as a $150,000 or $200,000 a year worker be prepared to take a 125 job? Number one is you're doing different work than $125,000 a year person's making. You know, I'll simply say your goal as you start your search is to be the best, most powerful you that you can be. I'm going to repeat that one. Your goal is to be the best most powerful you that you can possibly be and not fit yourself into the system. You know, that system, as I said, it's designed to turn you into sausage and fit into the wrap. So don't make accommodations instantly. Emphasize your power and your strength. If you're interviewing for lower level jobs, hey, that's your prerogative. You know, I've got other stuff that talks about how to deal with the younger hiring manager. But for now, focus in on the best you that you can possibly be. Also want to say that, you know, get some advice and, and you ought to get some coaching. And, and you know, actually, let me just start with the advice part of this. Talk to people who are your peers. Start to network and start to reach out for advice about how to, to navigate the system. 
I coach quite obviously, and I'd love to coach you, but the first thing is really to talk with others about where they see you, how they're seeing the market for what you do, and how to be most effective in utilizing your network of resources. I'm just going to remind you that, again, the skills needed to find a job are different than those needed to do the job. And you've probably been someone who's been focused on doing the job rather than finding a job. That's why coaching really has a lot of benefit for most of you, because we help to translate a lot of the things that you will be experiencing in ways that you can execute on a plan. So if you're open to my coaching you, you know, visit my website, which is TheBigGameHunter.us. There's information on the top in different tabbed areas. They'll talk with you about the services which I offer, which include resume and LinkedIn profile critiques. It includes, you know, helping you get ready for interviews, networking, salary negotiation, resigning a position if you're in that kind of a role, and the entire life cycle of the job search and coaching you through that. So. Again, TheBigGameHunter.us, plus you can visit my blog there, which has a ton of great information that will help you find work. But if you find it's too much, I've got the best of it at JobSearchCoachingHQ.com, where I have it curated to a manageable amount, and you'll also get discounts on my coaching. Hope you found this helpful. I'll be back soon with more. In the meantime, have a great day. Take care.